Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Oh, I like your outfit, by the oh. way. I had an event at my kid's school. Let me get this out of the way. I think you're a wonderful actress. Thank you. I loved All Over the Girl, but the theater stuff too. Oh, you've seen the theater stuff? I saw Electra. I was in New York last year for my book publishing, which remind me to give you a copy. And my publisher took me. Oh, well, thank you. Fantastic. You're amazing. Well, Charlie directed it. I know. He's very talented. He is. Mm -hmm. They're moving it to Broadway. Mm -hmm. well, without me, of course. He was lucky to have you. Well, I'm making a show about a plant invasion. How are you doing? <sighs> oh, honey. It's okay. Here, take a tissue. Take some deep breaths. And while you do, I'm gonna tell you a little about myself. Should you choose to hire me, I will work tirelessly for you. And I'm available by phone day or night, except when I'm with my kids. It's the one thing I insist on, doing school drop-off and pick-up. <laughs> I understand. I know what you're going through. You do? Yes. I have a child with an ex who was a narcissist artist and verbally abusive. I'm now with a great boyfriend who lives in Malibu. Oh, well, good. But Charlie isn't terrible. No, of course not. But in the beginning, they ravish us with attention, and then once we have babies, we become a mom and they get sick of us. Where do you want to live now, doll? Well, I'm here now, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this show's gonna get picked up, but it feels like home. I mean, it is home. It's the only home I've ever known without Charlie. You wanna stay here. Uh, Charlie wouldn't want to. He hates LA. We're interested in what you want. You did your time in New York. Sounds like he can do his time here. I mean, he always said we would, but then we never did. How old's your son? Henry is eight. <laughs> he likes LA. I just, I don't know if it's fair to him. <laughs> Sounds like a great childhood to me. First half in New York, second half in LA. Second half. Listen to me. What you're doing is an act of hope. Do you understand that? Yes. You're saying, I want something better for myself. I do. And this? right now is the worst part, but it will get better. Wasn't it Tom Petty who said waiting is the hardest part? I don't know. I represented his wife in their divorce. I got her half that song. Oh, oh, but I don't want any money. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have any anyway. He puts it all back into the theater. I used to think he put too much back. I just, I want it to be over. Of course you do. But we can do both. I just worry. We didn't even want to use lawyers, so I don't want to be too aggressive. I would like to still stay friends. Don't worry. We'll be as gentle as possible. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about what's going on? Because, well, Part of what we're going to be doing together is telling your story. 